Do you have a bench vice bolted to your bench on one corner? If you have, I bet it's in the wrong place at least 50% of the time when you want to go out and do a project. And for part of that other 50%, when you want to go and do a project that doesn't involve the bench vice at all, it's just in the road. Or you might be like me, have a very small bench that you just don't want to drill holes into at all. Or what you and I need is a portable bench vice mount. Like this one. So with something like that, you can just slide it across to the other side of the bench. Or take it off altogether. Let's make one. Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Next. such a large bit. So I'm going to use a 12 and a half mil bit on this. This thing chews through that like a piranha chewing through a little lamb. This is not a drill. Nice and snug. Perfect. Is that all you got? Let's begin. Now just mark around the head of the bolt. that section so the bolt will then fit in nice and flush.
So, now for the assembly. I've got my board, nicely painted. I've got my three bolts, two inch by half inch. Washers and nuts to suit. So, let's get this portable bench vise together. fit. Another nice and snug fit. Put on the washers. Put on the nuts. Complete. One portable bench vice mount. So will it pass the straight edge test? Let's find out. Room to spare. That's a pass. This is the reason why it's important when marking for the bolt holes to ensure that you've got enough room. So put a piece of vertical stock in the vise when you're marking those bolt holes and that way you can be assured that no matter what bench you happen to put it on, if you get some vertical stock like this that's going to go down to the ground, it's going to clear it. So no problems there. So that's the story of the portable bench vise mount. It's a simple little modification that you can make to any bench vise and it makes it a really versatile tool. One of the most practical aspects of that is that it clears up your workbench, irrespective of the size of your workbench, but certainly if, you, if space is at a premium, just take your bench vise off and then you've got that total surface that you can work on for projects that don't require a bench vise. Also, it's a handy little modification that you can make to a small bench vise if you happen to go away and do a little bit of fishing or camping or something like that. Handy for those little repairs where you just need that extra pair of hands. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. I've got to go and pack up my tools now. See you next time.